Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I am going to be trying out the new Peach Perfect Foundation by Too Faced. And they just launched this line. I got two things. I'm actually trying out their eyeshadows today, but you will be seeing a review on that. I just want to try them out first a little bit. Uh, but today we're going to be trying this one out on camera. And this is a Comfort Matte Foundation. It's a different type of container or bottle for it. It's pretty much like the Urban Decay Naked Skin, if you know which one that is. And this is the way that it looks, but it does have a pump. That's a good thing. Um, it claims to be oil-free, 14-hour wear, oil-controlling, photo-friendly, and there's a few other things that I saw on the box, and shine-free. So those are some things on the box and also on the bottle itself. I got it in the color Warm Beige, so I'm just hoping that it's my color. I mean, they did have a few colors on their website, but uh, I wasn't sure if to go with this one or the one before it. It just looked kind of light, so I was like, okay, I'm just going to get Warm Beige, so we'll see. So, so far, I only have my moisturizer, which is my Derma E Vitamin C Moisturizer. So like I said, I do already have the moisturizer on. As usual, I'm going to use both of these tools, one on each side, and we're going to see if it blends good with the brush and with the beauty blender and all that. So I'm just going to go ahead and just shake this up just a little bit and pump it. So it's not as thick as I thought it was going to be. It's kind of a little bit liquidy. You see there? So first I'm going to do this side of my face and apply it with my finger. Like I said, I'm hoping it matches me pretty good. It seems kind of dark. Oh, I don't know if this is a good color for me, but we'll see. And it looked like the one before it, like the lighter one next to it, was a little too pink. So that's why I didn't get that one. I was like, no, I think I need a little bit you know just a little bit darker um but obviously it looks kind of dark it looks a little 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 bit dark and i'm not using all of it i still have a little bit left on my hand but i'm gonna go ahead and just blend this one out with the beauty blender yeah it's i mean it kind of matches me pretty good like my arms and stuff but it does look dark at first hopefully it doesn't oxidize this is more for like when i'm like tan Okay, so it's blending out really easily with the with the beauty blender and it does smell. Yeah, I can smell it. I can smell it like that. I mean, they say it's like a peach scent. I'm not sure. It doesn't really smell like peaches. But it smells like something like the artificial peach, I guess. Like the air fresheners and stuff. I don't know if there's a peach air freshener, but that's what I would imagine. Um, but it does blend out really nicely and it looks really natural on my skin. Like I, It doesn't look like it's caking up or... Uh, I have dry skin, so it doesn't look like it's, you know, dry or anything, even though it's a matte foundation. I'm liking it. It's giving me, like, a natural finish, like, a little dewy, you know? I wasn't expecting that because you see how it's kind of glowy? I wasn't expecting that at all. I thought it was going to be really, really matte. It's called Comfortable Matte, or Comfort Matte, actually. I guess it's a little different um, because it does seem, because it doesn't seem, like, thick or too heavy on my skin at all. Okay, so I'm loving the Beauty Blender side so far. So I'm going to go ahead and just apply the rest of this on my face. So now I'm going to try it with the brush. And this is the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. So around my nose is where I have redness. And it did cover it up really well over here with the Beauty Blender side. I don't see any streakiness with the brush. But I do feel like I can see it more. Like it's less natural than with the Beauty Blender side. But it is really easy to blend. It's really easy to blend. It doesn't look streaky. Like I said, it just looks... I feel like it looks a little... Well, now it's looking a little better on both sides. I think it's going to be one of those foundations that doesn't look good until like a few minutes after. Like two minutes after you apply it. It looks really good on my nose. Like for a matte... Oh, what is this? For a matte foundation that looks I want I want you to see my nose because my nose usually looks really dry with foundations and this one does not at all like it doesn't look flaky or anything I'm so excited because I hate when that happens uh, the sides of my nose also don't look flaky or anything so that's a good sign sometimes it happens to where you can tell immediately when the foundation just starts to show up on your skin and you can just tell 
I'm gonna go ahead and leave it like this because I actually like both sides and that's not something that happens all the time. Usually I'll like the Beauty Blender side more or I'll like the, the brush side more. But for this one, it, they both look exactly the same. Like they blend it out easily and it looks much better within like a minute. Like just let it sit on your face for a little while and you're gonna be able to notice that it just looks way better. Claims to be a medium foundation, but seriously, it covered up a lot of my redness. So I don't know, it's kind of like a, a medium to full coverage. I don't know, it looks really nice, really even. My skin looks even. It covered up all the redness and it doesn't feel dry or anything like that. I have dry skin, but I like it. Look, you can still see the glowiness, even though it's been like a couple minutes, um, but it doesn't look matte, matte, matte. And like, like it says, it's a comfort matte. So maybe they made it just a little bit different. So the way the foundation looks by itself, I'm gonna go ahead and just finish off the rest of my makeup. I'm like concealer and just like my blush and all that. And the foundation is also photo friendly. So we are gonna do a with and without flash picture too. Here it is with the rest of my makeup on and I'm loving, loving the way that it looks and the way that my, the rest of my makeup sits on my face. Like I do see how it's matte. I just feel like it's more like a natural type of matte like that you are gonna be a matte face, you know? It doesn't look like that, it looks more natural. So I'm gonna see the way that it wears throughout the day. I'm gonna keep it on for a couple of hours, well like throughout the day, and then before the sun goes down, because then my videos just start looking really yellowy and I don't know, just kind of dark. Um, so before that time, then I'll check back in to show you the way that it looks. And I also feel like the color looks a lot better, like it adjusted to my skin. Um, and just so you know, I apply it around, I think it was a little bit before 11, but we're just gonna say 11, but right now it's 11, 12. Before coming back and checking in, here is the way that it looks with the without flash. The foundation says that it is photo friendly. So I wanted to show you the way that it looks right now, fresh on my face. Uh, the only areas that are a lot lighter is where I applied concealer because that is a shade lighter than my skin tone. So of course on the highlighting areas, it does look a little lighter, but other than that, everything else looks really nice. The color still looks really nice and it's not reflecting. Both sides look really good. Okay, so I'm back for the check-in, the only check-in that this video is going to have. It is now 5, 5.03. And I normally do longer hours in between the check-ins and stuff, but like I said, today it's just really shadowy outside. Like, there's not a lot of light coming in, and I know that as soon as it starts getting dark, my videos start looking yellowy. And showing you the way that it looks is kind of pointless because you can't really see it. There's not enough daylight. So that's why I'm just cutting it short and just giving you a six hour check in. Um, this is the way that it looks so far. It's not shiny at all. Like it looks like still with that natural finish, it, like a natural matte finish because it is really matte, but it's not matte in a dry, dry way. It's just more matte, like a natural finish. Like I told you at the beginning of the video, the way that it was looking, it still looks exactly the same. I'm really, really impressed with it because I was expecting for it to be completely matte because the whole line is pretty much like matte you know like the palette was matte and I think their translucent powder is for oily skin too like for it to be really matte and I like trying you know oily skin foundations like not oily skin foundations but like foundations for oily skin foundations for dry skin just dewy finishes matte finishes just everything just to see how it works on my dry skin you can still see a little bit of a glow and it's not super shiny on my nose you know the foundation the YSL one that I just tried out for 24 hours that one at the six hour mark you can already tell that my nose was shiny like you could see it on camera after the six hours and it was supposed to stay matte for a longer time and I'm really surprised that this one is not like matte like I'm looking at it at the viewfinder no the sides of my nose are not red or dry nothing feels dry on my skin nothing feels like it's like cakey you know that feeling like I said it is a medium coverage foundation but in my opinion like with my skin I just feel like it really covered up the redness I would say you can even build it up a little bit um, to make it more of a full coverage because to me it's like a medium to full coverage like it really did give me the coverage that I like and before I go I am gonna show you a close-up because that's the point not super oily not super oily like that makes me really happy all of my makeup is still on you can still see the contour the blush the highlight it's not that oily glow it's just like a regular natural glow in my opinion um, from a lot of foundations that I've tried out this one has to be like one of my tops I will leave you an update in the description box because like I said I'm not trying out for like 12 hours I'm not gonna wait till like later on because 
honestly you wouldn't even be able to see it but i will leave an update below in the description box in case anything changes oh and i forgot to mention but the color didn't change either like it's still the same color that it was when i first applied it so i'm glad that it didn't get any darker because it was already like a tad bit dark for me if nothing changes i will tell you there and if something did change i will also tell you there and i'll also have the product listed below in case you want to check it out for yourself or you forgot what color i am um i got it in warm beige but i will list it below just in case you're interested in that let me know below if there is anything new that you want me to try out for September, October, and all of that, you can also just tag me on, Snap on Snapchat. On Instagram, I'm always on there trying to look for new products that are coming out so that way I can get them, review them, try them out and stuff. But that is it for today's video. Hopefully you guys liked it, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.